you want efficiency. You want someone that is going to get that bucket when you need it down low. Speaking of efficiency, New Zealand coming to this quarterfinal uh, with 70% from the one-point range. Second best in two-point percentage at 30%. They knocked down nine of those. A lot of that had to do with Chris McIntosh. McIntosh hit six twos, 14 points to lead the way for him. He'll start on the bench. Thailand will start with the rock. Tyverson. Tyverson from deep. He will miss it. Dom on the run. <laughs> Put it up for the big dog. Oh, when you're, oh, finally, it counts, plus the foul. That's kind of how he planned it. He didn't want a score without the foul. So and he, he wanted, he wanted yeah. to get those rebounds, He missed too. the first two on purpose. I know his game. <laughs> He's stat padding. A former <laughs> Kentucky Wildcat. Man, I don't, I don't think most people realize what it means to be a Kentucky Wildcat, to be even recruited and offered a full-ride scholarship by Calipari and company. Like, it tells you the kind of talent worldwide that you'll consider. Jesu, Mr. Shorty, you're right. He's had a great career, still having a great career. McCullough, these goes and Winyard puts one up and in again. New Zealand out to a 3-0 lead. Number three, Lish, trying to get in his bag, falling away. That's tough against McCullough. Great defense yeah. by McCullough, staying straight, not dropping the arms. He's got the size. He's got the right combination of size and strength, and that makes it hard on Lish, who has that quick, he's got the quicks. And one thing for sure, um, Thailand, that has size and length in the paint. Don't look dominant physically, even though they got big boy at 100 and some, some kilos. Looks almost small next to a uh, Winyard and Kelman Poto. He will miss it. Thailand will not. Kelman Poto doing a little bit too much. That was Nakorn Jasenu, by the way. Who drilled that two-pointer. He's been relatively quiet on this Thailand team in terms of his scoring ability. But he drops that one in. Tyverson with 15 points in group play. He's going to get fouled by McIntosh. And think about the fact that New Zealand, because of uh, the schedule from uh, from each player only could afford to have about one week training camp before the competition. So they're still trying to find their groove, Kyle. They're still trying to figure it out. Oh, Kelly Poto. He missed it, but Winyard was able to tip it in. I like the energy from Kelman Poto early in this game. Offensively, he's trying to bring some flair to it, just like his haircut. Try to go for the alley-oop for his buddy in the paint. Ty Winyard, then now putting some flair on that finishing touch on that drive. It's looking like he has some fresh legs right now. Oh, look at Jocko Juan. This is why he made 10 of 11 attempts from one. A strong scorer on the interior as Thailand are keeping pace. Oh, he be the X Factor. Jasa Nuke on H2O mode. He is wet from deep. Oh, Dom got his ball destroyed by Ajesu. Justin Nuke will misfire there. But at this stage, single elimination, anything can happen. Thailand playing a good game through two minutes here. They lead by one. McCullough trying to stop the bleed. McCullough, though, loses the handle on the Wilson. One thing I'm noticing right now from New Zealand, they're getting caught up with the excitement of the quarterfinal. They need to slow down a little, start passing the ball around, and collaborate, trying to find a mismatch and an advantage, even though this one was necessary. They had no time to, to build an offense. They had to shoot that ball quick. But they need to go to the team game, share the wealth, collaborate with any kind of way, like, even though we have Lish right now with the danger, no. Jocko with the finish, but 
Trying to break City. Oh, that's easy money. That's a two-point layup for McCullough. Wide open, top of the key. 6-6 six, six contest. Jock Rowan wants to give it up to somebody. He'll get it over to Tyverson. And on the other end, you have Thailand that plays with no worries, plays with no pressure. They shoot that thing. They play with energy. They don't hesitate. And that's the main key for them against New Zealand, because if you get one clean shot, you may not get another one. Well, oh. Two men down. Kelvin Poto will confiscate the Wilson. Give me that. Swings it over. McIntosh. Hand oh. down, man down. McIntosh, shooter, shoot. shoot. And that's exactly what he is. McIntosh swings it now. The Dom trying to make him an offer that can't refuse. Come on. Winder tracks it down. Up off the window. Soft touch from the big man. It's 9 6. New Zealand back in front. Here's Lish. Lish. A Jesu. Deep two. Came up Lord Farquhar. Short. Did you get that? No, you didn't. <laughs> he didn't get that. Is that his air ball to the right side? Lish showing some frustration. He's going to commit the foul and then check out. In fact, both teams will check out because it's time for a media timeout. But how about Nakorn Jasanuk early on for Thailand, hitting a couple of big twos to give him a spark and keep him in the fight with New Zealand. Kyle, so far, New Zealand, even though they're up three, once again, I'm going back to what you mentioned early. They're not showing us yet their best game. I think they're figuring it out as they go. They lack repetition together as a team. They lack uh, uh, cohesiveness, even though they have great chemistry among themselves. You, you do need practice to kind of remember what one likes to do and how he likes to do it and the timing. You got to figure things out. And it, it comes with uh, with time. Well, they won, they, this this is the team that that won a bronze medal uh, last year, and they have had a lot of time to develop the chemistry and cohesion. Uh, it just hasn't always shown. Now they do lead this game nine to six, but I think it's a it's a positive sign uh, for New Zealand to continue to find ways to win, and they haven't put together their best game yet. Maybe they're saving the best for last. Hopefully it's a, for them, for them, hopefully it's enough to get them to the semifinals first. Think about pace, Kyle. Think about also the, the dynamic that you have to develop. We talked about being a pianist, reviewing your notes every day and sharpening your skills. As a team, you also need that same idea when you work day in and day out. But one week of preparation is, is kind of short. And I'm glad you mentioned the fact that they've had opportunity to build that chemistry before because that's what's enabling them even with little practice to still be very competitive point taken but one thing for sure lish thailand is not going to get away easily they're going to fight they're scrappy we know that we saw the ladies matched up with australia and they gave their best shot at it the main thing is you need to maximize any opportunity you have to get an open look and knock it down. If you're not efficient from a distance or if you don't take advantage of mismatches that are not going to be numerous against New Zealand, then you may be in trouble. 5.30 to play in this first men's quarterfinal. They tried the back dough. And Jasenuk is arguing that Someone on New Zealand touched the ball, but that is not what we saw. And neither what official simple saw. So that, that possession will go to the tall blacks. When you're the only professional 3x3 player on the squad as well, the one that with the most experience. When you're certainly a mainstay for the tall blacks. One of the most seasoned 3x3ers with 17 international caps. And of course, member of that bronze medal team a year ago. Dominique Kelman Poto, a silver medalist as well in 2022. McCullough was on that squad in 2022. McCullough actually was not on the team last year. 
They've mixed it up some. Jocko Ron. Too big, too strong. Takes it for a ride, gets the bucket and the score. Thailand can pull within one if he can convert at the free throw line. That is also the seventh foul uh, on New Zealand. So actually two free throws coming up here. And he can tie this game if he's able to connect at the stripe. Jocko Ron came into this contest with 12 points out of group play. His size alone doesn't exactly neutralize Winyard, but it makes it tough. It makes Winyard have to battle. Right. And then you look at the size of Ajesu as well, and that makes things tough on, on Dom Kelman Poto. It's all about matchups. It's all about matchups. As, as we talked about at nauseum throughout this tournament. Uh, meantime, he's got one more. Missed the first, Jock Rowan. cash in the second one it's funny because he's shooting like almost a meter back from the free throw line he wants to have like more range to his shooting maybe and i think you've noticed that as well big guys feel more comfortable the further away they are from the basket when they're shooting All three of the key. something that i want to point out kyle and I want to see, I want to, I want to hear your feedback on that one. I've noticed that all these teams that have physical boys, even girls, the, the stronger, taller players on their respective squads, they're not going for the screen rescreen. They're setting, they're settling for the, I set one screen and I dive and they're working much harder. Instead of being a bit more patient, setting the first one, I ain't get something perfect, no problem, coming back for another one, and eventually the defense will break down. Or being be able to just go through through your reads. The initial read doesn't always work, but there has to be continuous play. There has to be something that you do next if that pick and slip doesn't work. Do you rescreen? Do you pop to the corner? You know, these, these I, I think they're settling for the first option too much, and it's, it's overall, it's more... I haven't, I haven't really seen one team going for the multiple collabs um, involving two players back to back or back to back to back. There's more extensive actions are really for the, the teams that spend a lot of time together and you have a lot of time to develop them. McIntosh. No. When you oh, shift your gears, the big fella like a semi truck coming through the lane. 10-8, Dom Kelman Poto. He's trying to unleash the dragon. Oh, a lot of uh, bodies flying. Well, he got the Cisco haircut to unleash it. Oh, and then Kelman Poto, that's what I'm saying. He, he's a little bit too intense, and he needs to put his emotions under control. Because the main thing is, New Zealand is in foul trouble, getting mighty closer to uh, the double bonus potentially. And that's a trap in which Thailand. Here's Lish falling away. And Lish is trying to get off the leash. He dogs him that possession. 10-9, Lish getting to it. Gets the steal, loose ball goes to Winyard. <laughs> Winyard, hike, touchdown. Insane pass. That was like a center. And the answer. Hike it to a quarterback. What a shot. Johnson Nuke answers back. We got an 11 11 game. Uh oh. It's getting testy down low. The Dom and Johnson Nuke getting tangled up. This is a tight game. What a contest here in the quarterfinals. Thailand giving New Zealand their best. And the Tall Blacks sucking for win. Getting ready to uh, continue in this battle. But I, I'm a little bit frustrated with what I'm seeing from both teams. You got size, you got strength, you got those, uh, those teammates that can come and provide Leash with opportunities to play off pick and rolls much more. Set one pick for Leash. If he can't score or create off of it, come back and set another one. Work around that. You have talent. And for New Zealand, especially with Kelman Poto and Winyard, they're settling for just setting one and moving from it. 
and they need to work much more. Oh, McIntosh, easy like Sunday morning. It is Sunday morning. Two-point game, Lish draws the foul on Sunday afternoon. Well, it's 12, so it's in right in between. Hey, don't mess up my play on words with logic and I, reality. That's what I was it, saying. I could validate you with your Sunday morning. It's morning. Where I'm from, it's morning. There hey, how go. about that? Yeah, see, I can, I can <laughs> rationalize it some way. Lish. So Needs to knock it down. He's been a little bit hot and cold in this contest. There's been more questions than the answers. You get it? Tyverson? Never mind. Uh, Lish I do. It's my generation. <laughs> at the line. McCullough, tough attempt. Winyard, no tip. He and Dom are fighting for the Wilson. Winyard gets it over to Dom. Nico. Nico through the paint. Steps back, gets some space. Look at the arc on that. Doesn't hit it. Wait a minute, got a whistle. Think that, is that a foul blue? It is a foul blue, and it's going to be two free throws. Two free throws. Seventh on Thailand. They'll switch the ball out. Got a little too sweaty. Ty Winyu. At the line. Too strong. New Zealand medalist at the previous two editions of the Asia Cup. Silver to bronze. They'd like to add a gold, which would be their first ever at the competition. First things first, getting some breathing room against a tough Thailand team. Oh, trying to pull off maybe the upset of the quarterfinals. They Thailand is just... Oh, secret weapon. Johnson Nuke is nuking New Zealand right now. Thailand is just balling, man. They're balling. Johnson Nuke is balling. He got the sliders turned up. And he has been the key with his ability to shoot beyond that arc. That's, a, that's at least his third two. In any case, McIntosh at the line shooting two after the foul. Did you notice how Thailand just went up, played better throughout the tournament, game after game? They're elevating, they're finding their groove, and everybody's participating to the, to the team's effort and providing uh, a huge boost into potentially upsetting New Zealand. Drop the one, mouse in the house. Credit McIntosh for sticking with him defensively. McIntosh shut him down like a laptop. Two thirty-five to play, and a one-point lead for New Zealand. Winyard gives it up. McCullough, no, gets it back. McCullough elevates. Oh. Nice dish. The big fella will finish. Sharing is caring, and there is a lot of loving and caring oh. in New Zealand. Oh, but Lish. Snatch back, Tyverson. Fortunately, it's only a one. Couldn't get enough uh, separation to get back back behind the two-point line. He created plenty of separation, but he just didn't step behind that two-point arc. Thailand is shit. Man, they are playing an incredible game. That's an incredible pass. Ty Winyard, that is that uh, in the competition for a dime of the tournament? Top five, top five. I mean, that's that's a hike, hike. Well, I'd say it's this one and uh, uh, Fuzuki. I think that's their name, oh, right? Oh yeah, from, uh, uh, Team Japan. From Team Japan. That one yesterday. Yeah. All right. No look passes, both of them. I'm just trying to help our editors sort out the top five plays of the tournament, top five passes. We got one in this one. I don't know what the time code is on that, fellas, but you can find it. 16, 15 as we get back to it. Well, it was in the first four or five minutes of this game, so we're helping them. Yes. Warning, delay of game warning on Thailand. Got to give a clean check. Oh. 
Dom gets called for the offensive foul. He says, I'm not moving. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Simple is not having it. Technical foul as Dominique Kelman Poto let his temper overflow a little bit. And those type of mistakes in a game like this, you do not want. He's a veteran. And uh, he's hoping that that doesn't hurt his team. But that's, that's something you can't do. Got to maintain your composure. Lish with the swish. Iverson, Lish, chunks the deuces, it's a miss. We are under two minutes to play in a 16-16 game. Ringer takes the feed, Great lays recognition. it in. Great basketball IQ. Lish misses, Ejesu, he can't get it to go. Loose ball to Blue, Jesse Nuke. Oh, Ejesu can't squeeze it. So Thailand with some opportunities here, and they don't capitalize. McCullough. Thinking about the two, he's got a Jesu defending, mismatch down low for sure. McCullough, two is on the way. No, Winyard tips again and makes it a two-point game. So New Zealand digging deep to keep Thailand at bay. Winyard goes down, out to McCullough. McCullough defended by Lish. McCullough waiting for the screen, he uses it. McCullough checks the deuces. Paya! Huge bucket to provide potentially enough space to New Zealand to finish what has been a struggle to top. Well played game, but this game is on the brink of being over. Lish will keep it alive. Lish lets it fly. Tyverson can't connect. The gesture will put it up in the end, but it's a three-point game. Time is not on Thailand's side with 35 seconds left. Point game for the Tall Blacks. McCullough trying to do the honors. McCullough, short range, no. Winyard gets it back, easy breezy. At least the final shot was, this game was not. The Tall Blacks had to dig deep, empty the reserves, and it leads to victory for them over Thailand. And we see their run here in Singapore in in the quarterfinals. It is 21-17, New Zealand. We're going to be moving on to the semifinals.